Howdy, howdy. Welcome back to the channel. Just to uh, get it out of the way, I've got a couple channel updates. First and foremost, 17,000 subs away from 100K. That's crazy, guys. Still trying to do that by the beginning of the year. Um, so I did a poll on my channel and I was asked to see what y'all wanted to see me catch. So y'all said giant catfish was the top thing. So I'm out here catching giant catfish, giant alligator gar. Got a tent behind me, we're in a camp tonight. Last channel announcement. So YouTube is really bad about notifying people whenever I upload. So if you wanna know whenever I upload, which if you subscribe, I think you do, I would check your notification bell, go ahead and hit all uploads and it'll tell you whenever I upload. But appreciate you guys. We're gonna get right into the video. Okay. First and foremost, fresh bait is important. We're taking range cubes and we're throwing them out here in the spot we're fishing. We got two rod holders right here. This is a gar rod. It's got a gizzard chat on it. Gar rod. This has got a gizzard chat on it. Kyle, my buddy, the fish whisperer, has got his tranks right here, and that's got a huge live bluegill that he's cast off here into the current for flatheads. This is oh. this is what we're using for bait, guys. Giant, giant bluegill like this. I think this one died, but there's about a dozen in here, and we're gonna leave these out all night. See if we can get bit on a giant flathead catfish. Get myself some firewood for a fire tonight. That way we can cook and eat. Kyle brought us some steaks. This is awesome. Gonna get as much of this as I can, just this little stuff to get it going. Should be pretty good right there. <laughs> Alright, here's my little fire pit. Kyle's over here with the run, looks like. Freaking broken to about a hundred pieces. Nice. on here. Oh. I think it's fighting a gar again. Oh Steak and rice and avocado. Got a little bit of a mud in there. We had a slight issue. We're 
Look up, guys. Nice big fish. Man, that rod really is a beast. It's flat. Yeah. Oh yeah, look how pretty he is. I hear that's the best size to eat right there. Got our first flathead goes. Probably about 15 pounds or so. I got pliers too. Yeah, 12 pounds or something. Wow. Can you see it? Just a little tiny bit. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Little catfish. Probably my favorite catfish. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Alright guys, we got our first flathead of the night. Probably about 15 pounds or so. Got the hook out, got them on back. Getting out some fresh baits right now. Here's our uh, catfish station right here. Both of these are good for flatheads. Just putting on some big old gills. Clear scales and right behind that dorsal. We got our rod holders a little up here on the bank, that way you can keep a better eye on them, but he's going down there all the way to the water's edge. Out she goes. One trink's out. Second trink's out. Got ourselves another flathead, guys. About 20 pounds on this one, maybe a little bit less. 18, 15. to get back in the tent on that. They eat it. You ran with it for like 10 minutes. I was just like... Really? I heard something. I wasn't yeah. sure if that's what that was. It's kind of on and off though. Yeah, I'm glad we left them in those rod holders. The other one's not out. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I sat on it last night and nothing. That's fish. He's like 15. Yeah. Nice one. Get on them flatties. Yeah, I saw those carp. That was insane. <laughs> Woo! Alright, guys, we survived the night. It was a little cold last night. Got a little wet. Uh, we were greeted by a small pack of coyotes whenever we came out here we got the fire going we're gonna work out some breakfast got a couple baits out try to get ourselves some uh fresh carp for bait too got ourselves a little breakfast going over here starting some sausage river looks nice had a couple bites already got myself a burrito result of a uh, a little bit of work in the morning, but it tastes delicious. We got bait, fellas. Full of mud. Yeah. Right in my eyeballs. Yeah, that's a big fish. Perfect, huh? That was kind of a big deal for us. We've been after fresh bait for probably like three hours now, so got some fresh bait. That's going to be perfect for some gar. 
I don't generally like to take smallmouth buffalo when they're this big, but we're kind of desperate right now. So that's going to be bait. That's about 20 pound fish or so. We're hooked up. Do you want your camera? Don't mind the dead cow over here. Ooh, what do you get? Dang. That's the one we just put out. Give us our perch back. I don't think there's going to be any save in the perch. I'll take the rod if you want. About the same as the last one. I got some pliers in there. Perch is gone. <laughs> That's catfish. Kyle's over here on his catfish rod again. Looked like it was doing this sort of thing slowly. That's just a perch head, sunfish head. This is about to start flying. I feel like this is a really big fish. Look at, she's just V waking. You want this? I think you should. I'm not gonna let her be able to go all that far. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Sounds like a good fish. I didn't set quite soon enough. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to power into it more or not. Gosh, this bait is big. Woo. Knock scales off and stuff. I don't really see. I don't really see any like actual teeth holes, but. Yeah, I wonder if I should have uh, run that way. If it happens again, I might. So we lost this bait earlier, and we looked over, Kyle did, and he was sitting there right on the edge of the water. He came back to us. He, he returned to catch us our giant flathead. All right, guys, we got a double on Gar, looks like. Kyle's got one here, he's about to set. Ooh, I think he got her. Oh, yeah. She feel good? Probably big Gar. At least the rod's bent. I'm gonna let mine get further out while you fight that one. See big swirls. Big old turtle, I think. Or it could just be a really cold cigar. That's a turtle, it's gotta be. Oh no. Really? Oh yeah, I did see multiple of them come into the into the spot earlier whenever we pulled in 
There's like another one that size too. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> the giant turtle right here, soft shell turtle. I hear they taste pretty good, so it's usually what I tell myself when I catch one. Be happy if you're hungry. They're fast here. Ooh, he's charging. Ah, right at me. What the heck? <laughs> When Kyle and I like to fish for alligator gar, we like to set on the run, and that method just didn't really seem to work for us, mainly because the water temps were somewhere in the low, low 70s, so I don't really think they were committing, and us just letting them run for under a minute flat wasn't giving them enough time to actuate the bait to where they could get it down and actually get hooked. catfish so I gave it my best shot I went out there I fished for 36 hours straight on the river that I've caught the biggest flatheads that I've caught personally out of we ended up catching about five or six catfish the biggest ones around 15 pounds or so which isn't great but we tried um, it's full moon right now and also a super moon which might have a little bit to do with the uh, gar not feeding and that sort of thing also uh, Right now it's pretty late in the year. I think it's like November 17th or something. So this is definitely at the very end of gar season. You could still catch them, but the bite is definitely slowed down. I think two or three days ago, it was like 37, 39 at night here. So it makes sense that the water temperatures were cold and they weren't feeding that much. But I appreciate you guys for watching. I know this video is a little all over the place. I hope I got enough to make a really good video guys for you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.